good morning students today we are going to learn facts about calendar now as you can see the first thing that we have written is number of months in a year see the number of months in a year is 12 and the name of the months in a year we have written in the next one january february march april may june july august september october november and finally december now as you can see from here that a few of the months are circled in red and a few of the months are let me move over there and then you can see much more clearly a few of the months are circled in red and a few of the months are circled in a rectangle uh, are put in a rectangle in blue ink so the months circled in red like january march may july august october and december have 31 days and the months put up in rectangle in blue ink like April, June, September, November has 30 days. February neither has 31 days nor it has 30 days. It has 28 days in a non-leap year as we were discussing in the previous two videos and 29 days in a leap year. Now what is a leap year and non-leap year? We'll look into that. Now number of days in a year is 365 days for a non-leap year and 366 days for a leap year. Now let us take, in, uh, take a look what is a leap year. Now we define a leap year, a year which has 366 days in it. Now there are a few important facts of a leap year. First important fact, the value of the year is divisible by 4. For example we have chosen 2000 as a leap year as you can see in the calculation see that first we have divided 4 uh, 20 by 4 and see that there is zero remainder then finally if one of one of the zeros come down since zero is not divisible by 4 we have put that zero over here another zero comes down it's also not divisible by 4 so it comes to the quotient so we see that divisible means there should not be any remainder so we see 2000 becomes a leap year but if we take another example, suppose 1994, we see that it is a non-leap year. How we have done that? Let's uh, take a look. Now we have divided 1994 by 4 and finally have got 2 as remainder. If it is having remainder, then it is not divisible and hence is a non-leap year. Now another important fact about a leap year is that the February month has 29 days. Now we'll uh, try to find out why this leap year concept was developed now our second topic is why the leap year concept has been developed now as you can see that we have two types of year one is called the calendar year that is used globally and the other is the solar year that is the record of the time taken by the earth to complete a movement around sun we consider it as revolution so we'll uh, think that solar year is the time taken by earth to move around the sun as you can see that the value of calendar year is 365 days while the value of a solar year is 365 days 5 hours 48 minutes 45 seconds so there are many values what we have done we have approximated it that means we have taken a generalized least value which is 365 days and 6 hours approximately so we have taken it so the solar year has 365 days 6 hours and the calendar hour a year has 365 days so they are not matching 6 hours is extra approximately in each of the solar year now each year the solar year has 6 hours more than the calendar year so every 4 years to match the solar year and calendar year what they have done they have multiplied those extra 6 hours by 4 it comes out to be 24 hours that means one day so this one day has been added in the calendar year in the month of february so we get the concept how the leap year concept has been developed now we come to a bit of exercise where we need to do conversion we have already done conversion of minutes to hours seconds to minutes and days to hours now we'll co co convert a more higher things one week is equals to seven days one month is equals to 30 days we have considered generally we have not taken into account whether it is the month of february or uh, whether it's a 
month of March where there are 31 days or 29 days. We have considered it generally. Now, one year has 12 months. Again, in terms of days, one year has 365 days for a non-leap year and one year has 366 days for a leap year. These are the few basic things that you will note down. One week has seven days. One month has 30 days considered generally. One year is equal to 12 months. One year is equal to 30, 365 days for a non-leap year and one year is equal to 366 days for a leap year. Now we have done a few uh, conversions. Let us take a look into it. We have converted three weeks to days. As we know, one week is equal to seven days. So three weeks comes out to be three multiplied by seven days, which is 21 days. So three weeks has 21 days. Next example, we have converted years to days. If you take a look into it, that one year has 365 days considering non-leap year. So we will also consider them as non-leap year. So we will write one year is equal to 365 days considering both to be non-leap year. We have considered both of them are non-leap year. So that in order to make our calculation generalized. So two years becomes equals to two multiplied by 365 days. That is 730 days. Next, we try to convert five years to months. If you take a look into the uh, formula, one year has 12 months. So we come back here again. So we write the formula one year is equal to 12 months. So five years has five into 12 months. That means 60 months. Next, we try to convert the other way around. That means we have tried to convert days to weeks. Now, as we know, one week has seven days. So here we what we'll write, we'll just write our uh, formula a bit reverse order. So we have written seven days is equal to one week. 63 days is equal to 63 by seven weeks. That means it turns out to be nine weeks. Why we have written in reverse order? Because we need to calculate days in terms of weeks. Thank you.